Hello and Merry Christmas. I am Johnny B. And I'm the Restless Kaiser. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for Advantage. Advantage. Jingle bell, jingle bell. So, Christmas Day, mate. It is Christmas, Christmas Day. Christmas Day. And I'd be wonderfully gifted with all these magnificent presents. Thank you, kind sir. Hmm. Gifted is a strong word. They're all they're, for me, right? Um, they are gifts from me for the channel. Oh. So that uh, gift is a strong word. Oh. Each of these items represents a development area for the channel, either growing an existing game, starting a new one, whatever. Um, Mrs. Kaiser has lovingly decorated the room, making it Christmas. Thank you, Anne! They're not seeing your beautiful Christmas jumper, John. Oh, it's hidden behind the boxes. It's a uh, it's a Vault Tech, mate. <laughs> Obviously, Vault Tech, mate. What did you want for Christmas? Release into the nuclear post. I just want outside. Yeah, that's you what just I want. want. Outside. That's yeah. What, it's, yeah, it's quite fitting actually. <laughs> I would very much like to go outside. We've all been living in Vault Thirteen or whatever. It's pretty Christmas. grim. So each one of these is a potentially new or a continuation of a line of videos that exactly. we already do. Yeah. Yeah. So before we get to that, I had a look at last year's video. How shocking was it? But well, we were both younger and more beautiful then, and that's a stretch. More beautiful. Yeah. Still beautiful. Big stretch. Still beautiful. Okay. What did we do or not do? We did most of it. Okay. I did have some mantic space dwarves. Oh, you did? Yes. And I, I, How did that go? I got rid of that. Right, okay. So I got rid of Resin that. and a new game. And I like the idea of it. I was just the modeling. Requirements not not a fan. Too too much okay. for me. So that was scrapped. What that what was else was on um, this? Oh gosh, it'll come to me later. Did we do the Stalingrad thing? Last Christmas. Last Christmas, we had a lot of flames. Flames of War was like a that new was the thing, thing for yeah, us. for us. Yeah. Last Christmas, that was the big one. Yeah. You've done all right with that. I, think that's, I feel like something niggling tells me that there was. Oh, I dread to but... think what it is. We'll soon find out, though. So, uh, how do you want to go about this? I'm just going to pick a present and I open think you're going to pick a prick. Any? <laughs> that's a thing. That's is a thing. there? Is there any preference? I'm going to start small. Gonna I'm start, start small. With this one. That, that's what I say to the wife every year. Yeah, yeah, start so. small and then... Uh, get, now, I've got to try and save the paper if I remember correctly. So. <laughs> Mrs. Kaiser is frugal. So this is, she lived in Scotland for a while and she picked up some of the... Uh, this wrapping paper has been in service for at least four years, no doubt. So, first out of the bag is... Boom. Wow. What is it? Okay, it's Flames of War Africa Rifle Platoon. Not that you can see it, but I'll stick a still up, right. right? So, Flames of War Africa Rifle Platoon. It's German, don't you know? Yes, it is. So, what's the deal with this then, mate? Why have we got... Flames of War Africa Rifle Platoon. Well, we were running into problems with the fact that the German tanks are quite expensive. In yes. points. Yes. Not in cash. We've got, we got plenty of them. And not only that, but John painted them rather than me. So that's bad. And that bad. means getting a new tank can take several months. Much like the German production uh, during the war, <laughs> they yeah, only yeah. knock one out every so many. Yeah, <laughs> every it's now and produced again. To, a, to a very high standard, which is not suitable for exactly. mass production warfare. Exactly, right. Yeah. Um, but as the German infantry, I think I will paint them. But I think the, the Germans really needed that. Um, it was distinctly lacking in any sort of uh, infantry based. Yeah, when you've got a game where the Germans get like in the 50 point games we played, oh, the Germans yeah. got maybe seven tanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your defence was just too fragile. You needed something and in with the some escalation power. With, with the British in the desert there. Yeah. Um, their army was expanding massively with more yeah. and more chaff, and the seven guns just couldn't cut it. No, no, absolutely. With the Johnny B Panzerwaffe. So I've actually got three of those. Three of these. Yeah, and so I'm, um, I'm, we're looking at introducing infantry to the Africa God game for the Germans. Okay, got all sorts in there as well. Yeah, yeah. That's nice, so I'm just going to squish that to the side of it. Let's, there. let's keep, keep Flames of War, sir. Flames of War, next up. Let's do this little. Oh, this feels like a brick or oh. something. This feels mighty heavy. Yeah, I mean, I must admit, I do know what they are, but Johnny B's having the experience. I'm having the experience. It's like it's Christmas Day. Christmas, Christmas Day, mate. Yeah, well, obviously, I, yeah. you may or may not be watching on Christmas Day. It is part I of our release schedule. We're not actually recording this on Christmas Day, are we? Let's be brutally honest. All right. <laughs> We're trying <laughs> to keep it up. Because we have families who don't. Okay. Same but different. Similar vein. We've got some World War II, TB Yankees, uh, the British. Mechanized company. So this is for Team Yankee World War Three. We got the starter box. Oh yeah, World War Three. I think I said World War Two. Then we'll have to go back. But World War Three. We got the starter box. Yes, we, we played that with yes. the Abrams and so forth. We did. Um, and we're going to play a couple of other games. But the Soviets. So as players, 
on the channel, what we're going to try and hope to do over the next year mm -hmm. is go a bit more down the sort of partisan route rather than rather than just sort of playing what their channel armies are. are it's like, so you're going to you're going to take on the British That's role right, yeah, yeah. routinely. So we're actually going to swap roles with the, yeah, with the desert. Normally... And I'm going to start building a British force for Team Yankee. Well, thank you very much. Which is going to start with uh, some with an infantry platoon, I think. Infantry, yeah. infantry, infantry. That's one uh, you're not going to see any times because there is no army. To, and these are all metal army. as well, right? They're all metal, yeah. So it's, it's interesting because... Flames of War Battlefront, they've had several different ways of doing their infantry. Oh. I have not yet worked with their metal infantry in both the Africa Corps. And? Is, and the reason we hadn't got infantry for these forces was they were only in metal. Well, a year after starting playing these games, they're still only in metal. So you're kind of going to have And new material, they're thermoplastic. It's really hit and miss. Not a fan. N not of the ones I've well of the ones I've seen I feel it's a quality control issue if I'm being brutally honest the ones that have come out well are very nice mm. but a good third of the ones I've seen are just horrid and these are the ones with the Wah! big noses and stuff no no they're no, with the bendy, no, the bendy plastic they're with the bendy plastic anyway moving on Next. from that I think, go on, do that one, because I think that this might one? be in the, yeah. Is this an interesting one? No, I think that that's, like, finished with this. Oh, really? Yeah, this part of the stuff. A similar... Added, judging by the box shape. Oh, right, you know. Surprisingly, yes. Funnily enough, I bought them, John. Yeah, it's like you, you know what they are. So, it is a Flams of War. It's Daimler... Daimler Dingoes, mate! Daimler Dingoes. Got a little John. Got a little John. Little oh. John. The pit squeak. It actually has it there, little little, yeah, John. little John adapter. So the final sort of army to develop for Flames of War is well, again. You've been playing the Americans in the late war. In A the lot snow. of the flames, yeah, yeah. And we're still going. You're still going to see some more of those. But again, trying to we're going to move on to build a new British army over the next year. Mm -hmm. And what we want to do with these armies, because although we have several armies, is not to necessarily try to make competitive armies, but to make the armies different. Yeah, mix it up a bit. Use so the units that, the, that don't normally see yeah, the so table. That the, maybe the British Team Yankee Army is very much more infantry focused, whereas the British um, Flames of War Army it's gonna be is going to have all the Cromwells rather than the Shermans. Do the bit that's special about that army. Yeah. Unique to them. Because I've just started working on the late war German... Uh, force for the summer boards. Um, Which is and, looking mighty fine. And depending on the infantry in those, but I think I need to put them in the reconnaissance half tracks, not because they're good, but because it makes it different something from the winter different. army and from yeah, the African yeah. core army doing something so that this it force sucks plays just copy and paste in the army but painting it slightly in, different colours. Yeah, in World War II it's really, and bolt action is, is, is a classic example of Same, a game where. Yeah. You reach a certain point and thinking, these are the uh, these are the troops I want to bring. I want my units to be like this, so I need to use that tank. And then you play the same army every time. Again and again and again. But one might have a snow base. Have a so that's the Flames of War Team Yankee stuff. It's quite handy that you picked those three out. It, it, well, it's like, um, well, I didn't plan it. So they're not new games, although Team Yankee is pretty new for us. We've barely Let's touched try Team Yankee. something new then, mate, hopefully. Right, I'm going to go with this blue one because it's right in the way of my blue face. One. Bolt action, sir. Bit of the old warlord. Mm. So this is US Airborne, it says. It's a bolt action starter army. Absolutely. So we have started with James. We've had a go at the... I can't remember the Band name of the box set. Band of Brothers. Band of yes. Brothers box set. Um, and we haven't recorded the first game yet, but we've got the miniatures painted out. Yes. You may have seen that already, actually. Been a bit tricky. That should be happening over the next... Yeah, second lockdown really that, was, that was brutal That skewed everything, didn't us. it, really? Yeah, and you can still see we're still having to work under certain restrictions here, uh, keeping our distance from one another. That's why John's over there, and I'm over here today. Fact. He, I, I, I couldn't really pass him the presents. No. And, and just do the whole not-touching thing. Um, so the... Airborne army that comes with that starter kit, kit will be escalated into this, and you get a throw whack in it. Yeah, yeah. So it will be another army that's available to us, and again plays a little bit different. Yeah, this fills out the uh, the roster as it Absolutely. were. With the so you'll see at some point else. you'll see an unboxing. We'll we'll unbox yeah. one, and we'll have you get know, Jimmy stuff. round and do some yeah, bits. Yeah, we'll play those games. So we're going to play the starter game, which you may have already seen. 
that are that kit, and then we're going to do at least one sort of 500 point game after that. This is good. I'm but looking forward to that. Mainly, he does want to do Soviets, though. Of course, yeah, the thing he wants that I was to do saying Soviets. before about each of us leaning into our army. Is, yeah, and he's look, a Soviet player, out of He's show. the Soviet player, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good to, good to right, know. So that's Bo Action. Yeah. Bo Action, what's next? We've got Bells. We've got Bells. bells. Jingle Bells, mate. And, I think you'll uh, find. Yeah, Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells. I, I want this one. I want, want this one. one. I want this one. I want that one. Oh, wow. Oh, sorry, Anne. Sorry. I ripped the paper. Did you rip the paper? Sorry. Sorry about that. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. It's a bit of whammer 40k, mate. So. This is Snot Marines. Snot Marines. Yeah. This is like the Space Marine Heroes Season 3. Space Marine Box Heroes Song. Season 3. So these were released recently. Um, I picked them up through yeah. through Whaling Games. So, so the, although they were blind buys, this this the, each of those is unique miniatures. So this is following a similar trend to what we said before. What we were just talking about is to really rather than trying to play loads of different armies, which I think we've tried to do before, yes. is as individuals, like, yeah, us lean into developing for the, the specific forces that we favour. My, my tiny brain can't handle too many uh, yeah. armies, but yes. No, absolutely. So you've got your ultramarines, uh, and my two best armies, for want of a better term, are the Space Wolves, which people have seen quite a bit of. Yes, and Snot Marines. And my Plague Marines. And, and the Death Guard have been okay... Uh, throughout the edition, but they've never been great. But the changes to Plague Marines in particular, I am really hoping that they're going to be a worthwhile unit in this can, edition. Yeah. They have, they've got all of the stats look good, but we haven't seen the points yet. Fact. They Fact. could still be like everything else in Warhammer. Could, the could, vehicle could be fantastic, but if the points for it are out of proportion with its value... What's the point? You get all six guaranteed, right? All six. six? There was a seventh model in Japan... Oh, Korea. Oh, oh really? Well, exclusive to Which, the... unfortunately, that one was the wizard. Which is kind of one you want, right? Yeah, because there's currently only one sculpt. I think they're going to release that character. As a separate... As a separate... Plan pack. And the reason I say that is you cannot currently buy a Malignant Blakecaster. It came in a Dark Imperium box. You can't... The does... Really? The only one that exists is on a, on a, on a multiple sprue with a load of other stuff. Boo! And yeah, available. And surely they're going to kick him out then as a, so the, as a clan So pack. the second sculpt that they made was in that set. And it's Plus so I, you have six different poses for once. Exactly. So that's good. Because the monopose nature of the Plague Marines, the two units are identical. Yeah. yeah. And they're all in There's really so dynamic poses. Do. It's like, you don't want two of these guys in the same <laughs> army. The two individual. Well, that's good. Okay. Death Guard uh, on the channel in the future. I hope so. I've not had them on so for I'm a while. I'm whether what you've got there. I know what Tell me now. Is. I'll, I'll do that and I know all three. Is this all right? Yeah, they're so all open. Good. They're all open good. It. I'm just trying to think, oh, what's this? That I know what this one is. Sex. Yeah. This has been referenced. Oh, I'm happy. You're happy. I'm a happy Johnny. He's a happy, he's a happy Johnny. <laughs> hey, hey. Trademark, you can buy him soon from the MFA web store. This, sir, is the Battletech Beginners Box. Battletech Beginners Box. At a, a good price as well, because the, the sticker's still on there. Now, I don't think that this is anything more than just enough rules to get you out of the door. This is literally a Battle in a Box, right? Yeah, Battle in a Box. I played Battle Mech as a boy. It's had big Kickstarters recently. There's a bit of a re rebirth yeah, in it. Yeah, quite a bit. And they seem, from talking to people who are doing it, like I know um, Plastic Crant, Scarnier from Plastic Crant. Oh, Crant, he's well, he's, on it. Yeah, he's he well into it. it, yeah. Um, I think you like it because of the low model count. Yes, that's always a win for me. I think me. we'll all like it because it's mechs. Yes. I think most but, of us probably played it 20, 30 years ago and it hasn't changed that uh, much. I was literally going to ask. I was going to say, have they streamlined it a little bit? Have they I made don't it more think friendly? They have, no. It's the same, just rebranded. I, I think so. Oh! I think there is a version of the game designed for more mass combat. It's Something got a different like name. Alpha Strike. What yeah, was that? Yeah, that might be it. I, I don't know. I don't know either. I don't think it's going to be in that box. Boo! But look, I mean, if I want, you know, if someone says to me, said to me, and this is exactly how why I've done it, somebody said, you know, do you want to have, have a look at Battletech again? And that was what, sixteen pounds. That's all it was, yeah, £16, 16 pounds to get you For in. For 16 quid, I will have a, a trip Again. down memory lane and paint myself a mech. What is cool is it looks yeah. like you get little battle cards. Yeah, I think opposed you get cards, to... you get play mats and enough rules to get going. 
We'll, 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 we'll have a. We'll I'm, have I'm a looking forward to seeing that unboxing. Uh, but hopefully, with that, again, I know James Workshop is interested in it as well. Is he? Yeah, maybe some of the other guys. Because it's a Lancer's form X. Yeah. Hopefully, it's a game that we can all sort of get into a little Dabble bit, with. do in our own way, if it's not terrible. Yes, I'm sure it won't be. I mean, it was difficult when I was a kid, but I was a kid. Difference is, though, there's a terrible game and then there's a good game, but it doesn't necessarily work on camera. Yeah. So yeah. that might be we'll one see. of those, we'll we don't see. know. Um, I'm going to play that, though. Any preference? This is heavy. Surely we keep the best till last. Or is that not the best? I think it is the best, yeah. It is the best. So the we'll best. do this one next. It's also been covering you up for most of the video, I assume, now. I can't see what you can see. So this one... I can't see what... Anything. Mm. So. So. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Mm. The Roman invasion of Britain. The Roman invasion of Britain. How Caesar it says there. Lead free also, fact. Lead free, yeah. I mean, generally plastic sprues are lead free, but yes. it's nice to be able to say, it's like saying that, uh, the block of cheese is vegan friendly. Do you get any? Why are they saying not vegan that? friendly? It's dolphin friendly. No, you do get some metal dudes in here. You do, so uh -huh. it's not lead free then. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe. Who knows? Um, yeah, so Hail Caesarism, this is Warlord Games' mass back battles in the ancient period. And as the invasion of Britain, I don't know when we're going to have time to paint. Mate, that uh, sounds like a lot of painting. It uh, is a lot of painting. Mass battle gets it me worried. I, I think there's 80 Celts in there and 40 Romans and some other uh, bits. I can confirm that that is it, yeah. That's a lot. But there are skirmish games that we're already looking at playing. So the Celts in there, I've already painted some Celts for my Carthaginian yes, warband yes, for Mortal you have. Gods. And SPQR is going to release again at some point next year with some updated rules. Definitely want to have a look at that in some detail. And beyond that, there's other skirmish ancient systems. The ancient battles that I'd really like to play. Right. Roman Civil War. But that is about mass, that's about God. mass battle. And that's about painting 400 Romans. When am I going to find time to do that? Well, surely most of it's just like, you know, giving yeah, a spray well, maybe do it in two mil. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah maybe that's, that's the that's way to go. That's some people get around it. So that's um, another area. You're, going, you're definitely going to see some of those figures on the channel. Yes. Exactly what that will be. Ancients is an area we're just moving into through the vehicle of mortal gods. But we're looking to do more of that. Okay. Multiple systems same figures that's, 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 that's a good uh, way to go I mean yeah. that's that's perfect the big one the big one uh, the big one in a lovely foil-esque that's a big old heavy box what is this oh. it's backwards Boom. but I'm going to turn it around a song of ice and fire fact Winter Look at that. is coming. So you know what I just said? I don't know when I'm going to find time to paint 120 miniatures. So textures. this comes with 120 <laughs> miniatures. It comes with a fair few. This is a what's it? Game of Thrones do for Game of Thrones. Yeah. Starks versus Lannisters. Yeah. Sweet. Why? Why we got? Why, why you got this? have we got this? Yeah. What's the deal? Right. So. Um, why? There's a lot of miniatures in there for absolutely for sure. The appeal of this game. I mean, you know. The Game of Thrones series is very precious to a lot of people. True, true. A lot fact. of people like them. Uh, a lot of people are quite attached to some of the characters and so forth. And obviously, as a northerner, I'm kind of stuck with being Stark. Oh, of course. Even though they're clearly chumps. They're, all, they're <laughs> almost all dead by the end of the first Naive series. Chumps. Naive chumps. Okay, so who's taking on the Lannister boys then? Well, it's uh, Mr. Pogson is hoping to Pogson. take those on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, having watched a few people and making making videos of it, it seems that you really can play it in an hour, rank and flank game. Really? Looks good. And it's got like a little sideboard, a little bit of intrigue, your units and your characters. Um, your characters just give your units special abilities, so it all seems relatively fast. Do you know what I mean? You yeah, stick, you've got dudes in. on here that wouldn't be in combat. You've got Cersei, you've got, you know, uh, Caitlyn Stark, yeah. Sansa, what? Then I'm going to be on the battle. No, so there's like a little sideboard thing which allows you to draw extra tactics cards. Mm -hmm. So if you put Tyrion on the money thing, he gets yeah, like yeah. the money thing allows you to do something on the battlefield. Wow. But the idea is that these guys. So there's the battle that's happening, but before the battle, if you will, 
Right. It, the, these Mini people game. have been intriguing, and during the game, there those effects are going to play that's, out. That's quite interesting. They've brought that into to try and give it that Game of Thrones yeah, flavor. Yeah, it's just, most of it is politicking. But to try not to make it too complicated, it's just like you know, uh, make this unit panic, make right. this unit feel a bit queasy. <laughs> you know, those those kind of things. It's not like Tyrion. Um, you burst out of a hedge somewhere, Hooray! stabs somebody in the knee, and then runs off. Oh man! You know, <clears throat> um, I think in terms of the models and so forth, there's obviously there's a lot of expandability and stuff. And if the game works for Ross in terms of being visually interesting yes. and playable within the time frame, and I think it might be because they're big models, you know, Jim. they're I've, they're nice big models. A few. They're like GW size, heroic size. Yeah, we're talking like, but maybe a little bit more normally proportioned. Yes, Their arms are not that's really true. Thick. Yeah, they're not. Yeah. Their, their feet are not this wide, <laughs> <laughs> and so forth. Well, this sir is very interesting, and I would like to see it. Yes, At some point. I mean you'd be welcome to play it, but I know you'd Thank never you. paint the Well, that's the problem, isn't it? That's never going to happen. Whereas I know that Mr. Pogson will, because he loves getting as he's proper well. into it. Yeah, and Joe Abercrombie, he likes fantasy novels a lot. You know, well, so that's one of his chief leisure activities. That and the other thing that men do when they're on their own. Which is <laughs> paint miniatures. Paint miniatures. That's paint the one. Miniatures. I knew it. Well, well. I think that's all from us, Mike. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Thanks for making it to the end, guys. Please consider supporting us, buying merch, or something that Kaiser Center would be great. It does have 12 kids to feed. Thank you.